Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Evelyn, today we are going to fry tilapia. So this is my tilapia, it's just a little over one pound. And with the help of my kitchen shears, we are going to trim the fins. We are also going to trim some of the gills and we are also going to remove the scales. This tilapia has its scales removed and the gut removed too. But if yours is not removed, I'll show you how you can do that, okay? If you are new here, you are warmly welcome. Make sure you subscribe before you leave, okay? And also share my videos. And also don't forget to turn on your notification bell so anytime a video is uploaded, you'll be notified. Thank you. And to all my subscribers, thank you so much. I appreciate you sticking with me and I appreciate all your support. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. So keep sharing. Let's keep sharing. Now I'm taking the gills cover out, just like so, and we are going to take all the gills out. By the way, gills help the fish respire underwater or breathe underwater. I am going to take all the gills out. You just have to be careful, the cover sometimes is very sharp, so just be careful, don't cut yourself. And Make take it, it out. Like this. Make it drop. Be careful. So that's the stomach. If yours is not cut already, you just make a slit there and take all the gut out. So that's it. And now this is how you remove the scale. Although mine was already removed, look at how much I got over there. So remove the scales by doing this and then we continue with the process okay we are doing good so far don't go anywhere just stick with me okay that is the teeth we are also going to take it out you don't have to but I want to take it out So that's me taking off the teeth. <laughs> now that you're done, you're going to rinse your fish inside out. Rinse everywhere nicely with cold water. The stomach, the head. Wash it nicely. Good. So at this point you can decide to fry your your fish whole or you can also cut cut it into pieces like I'm doing right now. I am cutting mine into three pieces. You can you can decide to do four or even five if you want. So like this. And the fish is ready now. Now I am taking my knife and cut slits on top of the fish. This is going to help it cook through and it's also going to help your seasoning to marinate go all the inside. <laughs> this is my lemon. I'm just doing this so it can release its juice. Yep. We are going to squeeze the lemon juice on the fish. This is going to help with the raw fish smell. So squeeze it on the fish. Make sure you remove the seeds. We are going to wash, wash it again so. But please remove the seeds. And then massage the fish with the juice. The slit, let it go in there like so. Oh my it's having a lemon bath. 
so now that is all massage we are going to leave it for about five to ten minutes and then we'll rinse it again and I also decided to show you how I make my fish seasoning you don't have to worry about what I'm doing right now I will leave the list and the quantities that I used in the description box below so don't forget to check it out okay at this point I'm adding my thyme I'm also gonna be adding smoked paprika two tablespoons like I said you don't have to worry now I'll leave everything in the description box so check it out I also added salt I'm also going to be adding all spice and a little bit of cayenne pepper is spicy so just a little bit you don't have to now mix everything together and your fish seasoning is done put this in an airtight container and store it in cool dry place for up to six months how easy is that use it for your fish fillet and for fish that you're going to fry okay so now we are coming back to the fish it's been 10 minutes now and rinsing off the lemon juice by the way if you don't have lemon fresh lemon you can also use um, vinegar okay vinegar as you are rinsing do your final inspection everything that you don't need take it out and rinse and rinse and your fish is going to be dry now and with the seasoning too you don't necessarily have to make your own seasoning you can use any seasoning of your choice now if you have a lot of time to spare you can dry your fish on a rack like this if you are pressed with time then you're going to pat it dry with paper towels afterwards you're going to put it in a clean bowl you're going to season your fish now so we are going to use the fish seasoning that we made at this point you can decide to add a little bit more salt to the fish rub it all in before you add your seasoning With every half pound of fish or eight ounces of fish, you're going to use one tablespoon. Mine is a little bit over one pound, so I'm using two tablespoons of seasoning. So rub it in everywhere, every kind of all the slits that we made, put it there. Now cover and let it sit for at least two hours. You can also do it overnight. Now I have my cooking oil in here my wok I'm just adding crushed garlic I did not peel the garlic just hold now I'm adding flour just about one tablespoon it's going to help the fish not to break so now I'm adding the fish and we are going to fry the fish for four minutes on one side and then we'll flip and fry another four minutes we'll turn it just about six times and the fish will be ready to go so with this fish you can use it to eat your yam fries you can use it to eat kenke you can use it to eat your bunku we are going to use our fish to eat bunku so flip and flip and flip until your fish is done anyway the garlic that i put in the oil is going to help it reduce the fishy smell and it's also going to make it flavorful you can also decide to use onion instead of garlic so look at that i have my shito my salsa enjoy thank you for watching